This Paint Life TV, I'm Chris, the Idaho Painter. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about a drop cloth from Tomeco that's got some new technology, stay put technology. This is a slip resistant and leak resistant drop cloth. And I'm gonna talk about the importance of and the value of slip resistant drop cloths in this video. So if you wanna know why you should be using these things so you don't break your leg or your neck, stay tuned for this video. All right, so here we are. I'm inside a gym right here. This is Boise CrossFit. I've got an accent wall I'm going to be painting right here, and I'm gonna be talking about some new drop cloths I'm gonna be using in here. They got a rubber floor, but I'm gonna have ladders on this floor, and I'm always concerned about my ladders slipping in an environment where they could slip. And I've had an experience. I've had two uh, gentlemen I knew in the painting industry here in Boise, Idaho, uh, and they work for a company and um, two accidents. One of them was on a hardwood floor and had a um, 24 foot extension ladder slip out and he broke his femur, which is a very bad accident. And then I had another friend that um, was on a 24 foot ladder, ladder slipped on a tile floor and he broke his neck. Um, thankfully, both of them were back painting again and their inju injuries weren't life threatening, but having slip resistant drop cloths is extremely important and I'm going to be working in here and using these drop cloths because at any point in time your ladder could slip. These things have a technology on the back of them. They are slip resistant drop cloths. They won't slip and slide on slick surfaces like tile, hardwood, and other types of flooring. All right, so I'm gonna describe the drop cloth itself. On one side of the drop cloth, there's a canvas material. This is a leak-proof drop cloth, so that's a big plus. On the opposite side of the drop cloth is a rubber non-slip material. So this is a stay-put technology by Tremeco, and it's gonna keep your, your drop cloth from slipping and sliding on slick surfaces like tile, hardwood floors, epoxied concrete, stuff like that that's gonna be very slick. I've got a rubber floor here that I'm gonna be working on. I'm not concerned necessarily about my ladder slipping on this rubber floor, but I do gotta put drop cloths down on the rubber floor. And I'm a little bit concerned about the drop cloth having a tendency to slide on the rubber floor. So this rubber stay put technology right here, slip resistant technology is not going to slide when this comes in contact with that rubber. So this is gonna give me a very stable drop cloth that's not gonna slip and slide when I'm climbing up and down my ladder rolling and spraying these walls. So I got multiple sizes of the drop cloths. I have in my trailer, I don't know, I've got maybe 20, 30, 40, 50 drop cloths. You can never have enough drop, drop cloths and you can never have enough sizes of drop cloths. These things come and I've got a new one. I've got a nine by 12. I've got a four by 12. I've got a six by eight and I got a four by four. So I've got all kinds of options. I'm gonna start laying them out here because I'm gonna be doing some spraying and rolling overhead. I want everything dropped and covered completely. And so I'll show you um, laying these things out and we'll put a ladder on, them, on there and we'll show you how slip resistant they are. These are a canvas. Once again, they're a durable cam canvas drop cloth. All right, so I'm gonna be laying out my drop cloths here and I'm gonna be setting them, the non-slip drop cloths anywhere where I would possibly have a ladder. Now I don't have to have drop cloths that are slip resistant uh, or leak resistant where I don't, don't have any concerns about wet paint or ladders slipping and sliding. So I'm gonna get these things kind of close to my wall and then I'm gonna mask up against that. So my ladders right here, they're gonna be leaning up against this wall right here to get the wall and the ceiling. They'll probably come out to right about here. So my slip resistant drop cloths need to be right here in this area. So I really like the four by 12s. The four by 12s are the most commonly used drop cloths that I use. I have more four by 12s than anything. And, but the nine by 12s are great for covering large areas. So I only had a couple non-slip drop cloths and I wanted to add a whole more arsenal to my drop cloth collection. So I got all these new ones here. So you do want to, when you're using these things, you obviously want to have the rubber side down, canvas side up. Okay, here's a four by 12 that I got laid out right here. And 
I really like the 4x12 uh, using them in stairs and stairwells and even on carpet. The non-slip rubber on the back will tack and stick to carpet really well, keep your ladders from slipping, and also while you're walking up and down stairs, it'll keep your drop cloth from slipping and sliding down the stairs. All right, we're just cruising right along here, getting our wall all prepped. We're gonna be rolling with an interfeed roller and we're gonna be spraying around some of the piping here using our non-slip drop cloths. And I think it's pretty important that, you know, if you're only using old school canvas drop cloths to, to add some non-slip drop cloths to your arsenal, because there is some pretty staggering statistics about out there in the United States about how many injuries and um, deaths there actually are people using ladders, climbing up and down ladders, and them slipping and sliding on slick surfaces. I'm gonna leave some of those st statistics down below here. You'll absolutely be blown away. So it's time to get with the grip and use drop cloths. That will actually save you possibly from falling off the ladder. It's just as important to have good grip with your ladders as it is to have good grip in the gym. Hey, don't forget, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. That way you get notified every time I come out with a new video. It's free, simple, easy to do, but you have to hit both the subscribe and the notification bell. That way you get notified by email. And you know what? You gotta get with the grip and use non-slip drop cloths. Don't just use those old school drop cloths. And if you want any information about these drop cloths or where you can purchase and buy them, when you're done watching this video, just go down in the video description and I'm gonna leave links and information so you can get informed about the grippy drops. Out.